I'm broken. It's boring. I'm clean. That's you, Mommy. Hi everyone, before we start watching this vlog, I just want to remind you that tomorrow, December 17th at noon Pacific Standard Time, I'm doing a fundraiser live stream right here on this YouTube channel to raise money and awareness for kids fighting cancer. So if you want to be a part of that, I would love to have you. All of the money that we raise is going to Hope for ATRT and the Sky Strong Foundation. It's going to be a lovely time. I'll see you guys there. Here's the vlog. Hi, I just had a dermatology appointment and oh my god! Please excuse how disgustingly messy my car is. Um, anyway, obviously it's their job to tell you how to fix your skin. Like, they're there to help you have healthy skin and take care of your skin. And they're way smarter than me. They know more than me. Obviously, I know nothing and they are smart. The doctor I just met with was lovely. She was so wonderful, sweet. Like, I could see myself being besties with this woman. Like, I thought she was lovely. I went into the dermatologist today for my C-section scar and I was diagnosed with an ugly face. That's how I'm taking it. It could just be my own insecurity. But no joke, multiple times I've been to different dermatologists and they've been like, you really need Botox, you really need filler. Yeah, right there. Oh my god, that terrified me. Anyway, my C-section scar is like raised. The scar tissue is not, it didn't heal like how it was supposed to, I guess. So, I don't know. It needed to be looked at and I'm supposedly needed to be injected with something. When she's looking at it, she was like, oh, there's some pigmentation we can fix with this thing and we need to do this with this thing and you should get laser with this thing and you should do this thing and saying all these things. And then she looks at my face, she goes, oh, and you should do this on your face and you should do this on your face. And also you can do this on your face too. She basically said, you need Botox and you need filler. And there's nothing wrong with Botox and filler. I think people get Botox and filler look fabulous and I think people who don't look fabulous I think it's all fabulous do whatever is best for you and your confidence and makes you the happiest it is your face it is your body you should do whatever makes you freaking happy with that stuff that's how I feel about it but it's not the first time it's happened to me and it's it's like almost comical at this point where it's like every time I go to the dermatologist I know that they're gonna tell me to get Botox and filler and blah 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 because it happens every time it's, and I'm not against it like I'm who knows maybe I'll get Botox and filler someday I don't know if but like I've always wanted to believe and spread the message that like you can be beautiful with or without work done like both are beautiful it's hard to spread the message that you're beautiful without it when everyone's telling you to get it because it's not just doctors like i get comments about it all the time what is wrong with wrinkles what is wrong with gray hair what is wrong with looking older like with age comes wisdom and knowledge and experience and it's so sad to me that we look at these things that show signs of aging and say gross get rid of it like why can't aging be considered beautiful by society anyway i'm feeling ugly <laughs> and i know it's hypocritical of me to be like no aging is beautiful and then to be like oh i'm aging i'm ugly um i know i'm not ugly and i know people are gonna be mad at me for saying that and like get upset with me for saying any of this i'm sure it's gonna cause a ruckus I'm not trying to cause a ruckus i'm just telling you how i feel after a, yet another doctor has told me that i look old she literally looked me in my face and go you're really skinny right now and because of that your face is sagging <laughs> i'm going home <laughs> bye home from the dermatologist with a lot less confidence but my heart is full because i've gotten some kid kittle kid kittles kid cuddles and i've been working on stuff for the fundraiser we're working on the goodie bags and by we i mean me but <laughs> i'll show you what i've got going so i told you if you watched the vlog before i wanted to give away these friendship bracelets that i used to do at my shows a long time ago they came with a little lipstick to represent miranda and a purple heart which i found more of these little purple heart beads i bought some and then you're supposed to add charms that represent you i got some more charms and stuff so i got a charm that represents childhood cancer the gold ribbon i also have a little cat bead because i love cats and then a christmas charm because it's christmas time and i love christmas you get to put together the bracelet however you want add whatever terms you want so it's kind of like a craft which y'all know i love a freaking craft the bracelet is like a very thick strand of string all wrapped together so it's hard to get stuff on it so i'm also sending you these like little hoops that you can add so you can add the charms by adding those little hoops on and then they just come right on to the bracelet string or you can do what i did with this one where i undid this tie and then i just stranded them through like individual strings and then i just wrapped it all back together or you can do it this way and just add the little hoops that i give you guys this is probably a lot easier. Put them on this way. This cat bead is such a bust. The hole is so tiny. The only way to get this on is to literally put it on one of the threads. So if you want to put this cat bead on, you're gonna have to like 
untie it to get it on because it won't go through one of these charm holes. So every year during the fundraiser, I usually give away a bunch of prizes. And this year, we're doing it a little bit differently. We're gonna give away these little packages. I'm trying to make things a little simpler. This year's fundraiser is just gonna be smaller. It's just how it is. So during the fundraiser, if you donate or if you spread the word, or if you've already donated to the fundraiser, you're entered to win as well. And then we'll contact you through the fundraiser link, through the email you've signed up on the fundraiser with, and get your information to send you one of these. So inside of this is an autographed picture of me, which why wouldn't you want that? And then you'll get one of the friendship bracelets and inside of the friendship bracelet little baggie, you get some of these things. You get the purple heart bead. You'll get a random Christmas bead, which there's lots of different kinds. There's snowflakes, there's snowmen, a little star with a Santa hat, Christmas wreath. Look how cute that is, a little Christmas tree. There's a candy cane with little diamonds. Ooh, that's cute, it has like diamonds in it. Here's the cat beads that are kind of a bust. Up here's the uh, childhood cancer ribbon. Also inside the bag is Taylor Swift stickers because hello, we all know I'm obsessed with Taylor Swift right now. You'll also get a sticker of me. Nobody wants that, but you'll get it. Also, what am I more obsessed with than anything else right now other than Taylor Swift? and my children rocks how could i give away anything that has to do with me without giving away rocks am i right so i'm very excited about this i have all these tiny little agates so i'm going to give away some of these little cute agates and they're all different and unique and just so awesome and a little tiny rose quartz heart and just in case any of y'all want to know what these different stones represent the rose quartz is known as a healing crystal and the stone of unconditional love it's believed by some to emit strong vibrations of love which are thought to support emotional and relationship healing inspire compassion and then the agate that I got is marine agate and marine agate promotes creativity clarity and self-love place in your heart chakra to stabilize your aura and promote well-being carry this stone wherever you go for luck and emotional support isn't that so cute and perfect I just love it on top of that you will also be receiving my lipsticks we have the Miranda red and the Daisy May pink and look at the, when they go together like hello so fun so fun i'll show you the colors this is my lipstick and it's this like really pretty like dusty rose nude it's a pink nude i'll actually put this one on right now so you can see Ta -da! I feel like the lighting is real horrific. Anyway, it's a really pretty pink nude. I can't, I don't want to put someone back. I don't want someone to accidentally have the one that's been on my lips. And then of course we have the Miranda red. It looks like the little Miranda outfit, like button up shirt and the red pants. That's an actual kiss print of mine, by the way. I kissed a piece of paper like a hundred times till we found one that we liked. And then here is the red, the red. So you'll get both of those. And then it looks like this. So you get the little picture of me, the lipsticks, the friendship bracelet, the stickers are in there, and the little stones are down there, and all the extra beads are in with the bracelet. So that's the little package we're gonna send out to people. Not everybody who donates gets one. Not everyone who spreads the word gets one. We're just gonna pick people at random who are encouraging, sending nice notes and messages, spreading the word in any way that they can, or have donated in some way. We're just gonna pick people at random. And so if you want to be entered to win one of those little packages, you can donate donate you can donate now you can donate during the fundraiser you can just spread the word on your social medias you can do whatever you like I'm excited we've got this little station to make all of our little packages and even the bag that they come in I feel like it's so cute it's like holographic I'm like I'm so excited about this bag I don't know why but I just really love it okay I have stuff to do it's Taylor Swift's birthday I need to take a break from work because I really want to rent the movie and watch it so I might do that for a minute I probably won't have time to watch the whole thing right now because it's like three hours long but I can at least watch a minute of it so maybe I'll go do that okay if I'm going to celebrate Taylor Swift and watch her movie I need to dress for the occasion. I have so many outfits I could possibly wear. I don't know if you guys know this, but I used to be a performer. I have a lot of performing outfits that will never be worn again, unless it's Taylor Swift's birthday. This is the one to wear, right? Oh, I actually know what I should wear. Hold on. Lavender haze, girl. It kind of works, does it? No, it doesn't, but it's gonna work for now. Maybe I'll change in a second. I changed because everyone was making fun of my outfit. No one made fun of it. I just felt insecure. So I changed into a Swift Miss shirt. And Maisie's watching it for the first time. We're ready for the bridge of Cruel Summer. You guys can't hear it, but I'm gonna sing it. Goodbye. Ready for the man. We had to put on sparkly blazers, obviously.
a pause from Taylor to Abbott. Let's see, what's the day? The 13th, obviously. Oh, it's the big Wait, boy. Yeah. Wait, did you actually make it the biggest one? Of course. Yes. 13, of course. Okay, you ready? We're opening the big one. One, two, three. <gasps> it's Taylor Swift tickets. I'm just kidding. What oh my God. It's an or It's an ornament. I photoshopped her and Taylor together. I'm embarrassed at how many hours I spent photoshopping photos of you guys together. To look like best friends and an ornament. I know, me too. The Taylor Swift Little Golden Book Biography. Come here, Maisie, you wanna open your dolls? What is it? It looks like a lollipop girl. Is it so cute? You like it? Wait, what other ones? Pink your favorite color? Pink regular. Yeah, okay, let's open the rocks. Oh, here's 13. Ooh, it looks like a quartz to me. It's a clear quartz. Can you say quartz? <laughs> to see the path ahead with clear vision, to amplify the energy of all your other crystals, to strengthen your intentions, to cleanse, open, activate, and align the chakras, to absorb, store, release, regulate, and unblock energy. Goodness, that's a lot of work from a little stone. Do you want to do it, Wessie? Yeah, do it. Come here. Green. What is it? It's green. It's green? Stuck. It's stuck. What's that? It's Bigfoot. Oh, he's showing you his monster truck. Mm. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Mom, it's Bigfoot. Yeah, it's Bigfoot. It's red. Yeah, flip. Yeah. It's riding on Mama. Yeah. Yeah. Hi everybody. I have not been posting vlogs. I've not been vlogging hardly at all. I did vlog a little bit of footage today with the kids. I'm just they're being so cute. So I might put a little bit of that footage in right here for you to enjoy. So that's the map we're gonna do. Yeah, so these two monster trucks are missing. Mm -hmm. We checked in the office already. Yes. There was no monster trucks. Right. The next. We have to go downstairs, check in my room, like okay. we already did. Check in your room. Okay. Then go back down the hall, down the stairs. Okay. Then we go out the office door, find yeah. a jacket. We check in the driveway. The driveway? Even if it's cold? Yep. How are we Because I see? have lights on my car. You do? Uh-huh. Oh. What about me? Do I need a flashlight? Yeah, you might need a flashlight. Maybe two or something. Okay. And maybe another jacket or something. Okay. I don't need the jacket. I'm fine. It's pretty cold outside. I'll be fine. Okay. Sounds good. Follow me. Maisie, did you go to the farm today? Yeah. Who did you see at the farm? The potty. A potty? Yeah. Oh, a dance party? You want a dance party? Yeah, I do. Move, move. I, I like to move it, move it. Is that what you want? Yeah, I do. Dance party, move it, move it. You just want a dance party, move it, move it? Yeah. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. To move it. those fun cute little moments with them but yeah I have not really been vlogging too much I've been really focused on work and the fundraiser and some personal stuff and I am tired <laughs> I'm, I'm really run down and tired so I'm just gonna call it a night but I'm really excited for the fundraiser it's gonna be a very casual live stream this year it's just gonna be me just singing songs casually and encouraging people to donate and giving away these fun goodie bags and my goal has always just been to raise as much fun and awareness as possible for kids fighting cancer. So hopefully we can raise a good chunk of money for these two organizations on Sunday. I'm very tired. I'm gonna go to bed, but I love you guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on Sunday for the fundraiser at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on this YouTube channel. And we'll just hang out and raise some money and sing and, and just have a good time. So, all right, I'm gonna go. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.